it just it helps that person who can tilt not tilt. So it's really good. But all right. So let's say you come here and you're not signed in. Okay. So we're here. Now, we have oh, we have Battlefield, right? So if you only use your in-game sense and you know you have the FOV off on when you ADS, like it, you can either have your AD, ADS FOV on, which is really distorted and you see a lot of your gun, or off, right? You know, you know if you have either or. I always run with it off. So, um, once you have that, you have your game selected with the right setting afterwards. Like this one has config file, in game, vehicle, all that, right? You just got to make sure you select the right one. So for us, we want in game ADS off. And as like a little side note. If you want exact sensitivity, you use the config version. But we're doing this one because it's easier. Okay. You want hip fire, right? You want your hip fire to be that. If you already know your sensitivity, because you're converting to another game, which mine is 12, you put that in. And then 400 is my DPI and my mouse. Leave every one of these things blank. And then. We don't want uh, we don't want to change any of this we want to leave view speed as the default because that's the conversion like that's you moving your hand right no 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 distance 360 distance that's right fuck I'm stupid how did I forget that so we want to move our hand the exact same distance to do a 360 so you select this and then let's say you're going to PUBG so you go player and on. We're gonna do end game again because it's easier, way less confusion. Hip fire, first person. So this one has third person and first person. It is different. So you want to select that default, or it automatically puts our our DPI in. So we scroll. Really? Okay, I don't know why that just happened. I didn't hit anything. So you scroll down, and then it gives our PUBG sensitivity fifty one. That easy right and you see how it's not exactly the same that's why I use config file because then you can get it exactly the same um so now let's say you know your inch inches the 360 right which I do I always only ever want to do 17 inches of 360 so I put my I go to this instead of sensitivity I select distance and then in distance, I put 17 inches. You can also change it from inches to CM for you EU people out there. In America, they teach us the wrong way. So inches it is for me. And then, uh, oh, 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 okay. So I skipped over FOV. FOV in some games actually affects the, uh, the the mouse speed so you want to put that in so let's say my PUBG sensitivity is a I mean FOV is 103 look it's gonna change it now it's 48 right so we remove this hello can all right 51 so now 103 I don't know how it didn't fucking delete it all oh I hit Z and it fucking replaced it okay so yeah, as you see, you gotta put your FOV in on the game. So it'll tell you if it's affected by FOV down here. Is it affected by FOV? No. It also window and resolution, right? And then is it affected by FOV? Yes. So that's a way you can tell. You just scroll down. It'll tell you if the game is affected by given whatever. But that's how you use it. 
super simple. If you don't want to convert, you literally ignore this part. Don't don't even mess with it. So you'll just come in and it'll look like this. Sensitivity, then select your game, fucking fuck off. Battlefield. Battlefield. FOV off. I want my sensitivity. This is the exact process I would do. Uh, I always put my FOV in. Always. I, I'm just going to put that like that for just in case because I'm about to hit save on it. Uh, so now I got my FOV. So if you do it with the config file, you would literally highlight all this. Copy it. Open up your config file. Search for just this part. And then... Highlight it all, control V, or you can just copy this part. It's just easier to highlight it all because then you can just do this right here, watch. 